What if his foot got stuck in a pallet? He might have fell. We put the camera in. Oh my god! 21.6 boots. Good job. Wow. Well, that went complete. Ooh. Let's get Goat into his new uh, new temporary little surgery enclosure. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. Last video, I mentioned there's a couple different things that I think might have happened. Goats love to climb. I built this really cool thing for them. As you know, they literally go all over it. My buddy Blake's got something that's like 10 feet taller than this one, so I know it's not that jump that's not a bad jump at all goats literally climb the highest things and boots was jumping off that the other goats are jumping. it's it's that's not the problem pallets are another thing that came to my mind what if his foot got stuck in a pallet he might have fell and i believe that's something along the lines of what happened that or i could be completely wrong and something else is internally wrong might just need to put a little brace on his foot all right boots you're, you're chewing on my shorts again hey right, bud Maybe he jumped off this, his foot went through here, and he fell, I, I don't know, something. This, the fact that he would've got hurt on this pallet is very rare. You know, everyone that I know personally that has a farm has pallets for their goat enclosure. They love to climb it. Like, he's just literally like pulling on my shorts every time I walk away. And this is very well structured. I can shake it, as you can see, and nothing moves. It's completely mounted to the ground. Boots, I think you just took a little tumble the wrong way, and you might've hurt your leg. So yes, I'm coming out today. It has been raining nonstop from the moment we woke up all the way till about now which i can't even feed you guys your grain will just get wet and become useless gotta wash the camera i have to go get hi hi nah. come here look at you're still limping i need you Boots. you guys are all dry under here huh yeah. they just hang out over here on this hay right here i want to get a bunch of hay and kind of fill this up come on Ugh. Come on, baby. I'm sorry. We gotta see what's wrong. We gotta see what's wrong with you. It's raining nonstop. Oh. Put the camera in. Oh my gosh. It's honestly really sad. They're like screaming for each other. Listen, they. Then he screams. Today's video, we're bringing Boots to the vet. We're gonna see what's wrong with his foot. He hasn't been walking the same. There you go. See him? See him holding his foot up like that? We gotta make sure it's not broken or anything, Boots. Boots is not happy. How's it going, Boots? <laughs> yeah? You're allowed to go in One person. I'm allowed to go in? One person. That's a miracle, man. COVID's making started. an improvement, huh? Take this off then. Well, Boots didn't help us with the fact that it doesn't smell good already from your stank fall. Well, you took a nice urination everywhere, like a lot, and you, you, you pooped a lot, a lot as well. Appreciate it. Thanks, Boots. Still limping though. You're still limping. We're gonna get you all figured out, okay? Get some x-rays, get you all figured out. He's chewing on a t-shirt. So, now that I'm thinking about it, it could have been the palate like I mentioned yesterday, but also he's been climbing over that the post and wire fence and going into the backyard forest, like the forest back there, climbing up the trees and every all this crazy stuff to get the leaves. He's a crazy, the craziest goat I've ever met. Do I go in? She's gonna come up. Get me? But you need to wear a mask. Oh, of course. PC mask. Not available anymore, but was. Polkfarrowbrand.com. Oh, New merch coming soon. Hardest part staying still. He's fairly good. 21.6 boots. Good job. Wow. Yeah. He's looking on it. Mm hmm Hi. Ah! It's me. See? He peed all over the floor. But hi, hi boots. Now I'm very curious to see what happens here. They're gonna give him x-rays, which I figured they were obviously gonna do, as if a human broke a bone. I just don't know, you know? Just me and Boots here chilling in the waiting room. He's like so confused. Where am I? Well, you've been here once before. But that was when Boots was first born. Right, Boots? With your sister and brother as well. He looks so puzzled, confused. <laughs> oh, I hate
handsome. I know, I gotta carry you though. Yeah, bud. There we go. I wish I could film, yeah, but. Yeah. COVID. COVID. I had, I got to film Lulu actually. <laughs> See you later. When Lulu had her baby pigs, I got to film that um, ultrasound, but this time I can't film. It's all right though. I'll give you the updates when they come back. Broken leg. I really wonder how it happened. It's pretty common jumping through fences, just like you described. Pay the price, boots. I told you. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna be one paying the price. <laughs> actually. Oh wow, that really is broken. Sideways, and I can get it blown up a little bit bigger for you. Ooh. Yep. Oh, dude, that's painful, my guy. Yeah. I know. Now I feel you. Dang. Well. Your image will come up better if you try and zero in and get as much of the white out as possible. Yeah. You see the little hoof? Oh, right there. Dang it, boots. Yeah. You done did it to yourself, man. So I can get that on a thumb drive for you. They're going to need better x-rays once you get over there. Dude, I knew something was up with you, bud. Your leg's broken. Well, that went complete. Hopefully we can get it done today. So let's just get it over with. But you know, we'll see what happens, happens. Oh, why, man? Why are you gonna do that to yourself? All your little brothers and sisters are doing just fine because they don't do dumb stuff like you. All right, so we have to go across the street. I'm giving Boots a little walk right now. He's gonna eat all these greens right here. Look at him. Oh yeah, loves trees, and that's probably how he broke his foot. Got the paperwork here, and I gotta go across the street to see whether we need surgery or a splint. I've seen all my friends that just do the splint. It's a lot more cost efficient. I mean, a surgery can cost a lot of money. Obviously, I want to do it the right way, so we'll go across the street, see what they suggest for this his specific break, and we'll do uh, just that. So I'll see you when I get across the street at the next place. I don't even know where the heck it is. I'll, I'll find it. <laughs> Tastes horrible. Mm -hmm. It'll keep it from licking it. Just spray the, the cast, okay? Okay. But it's a fiberglass cast. See? No. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> that he explained in the, in the paper. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, guys, we need to see you in about two and a half, three weeks. Sounds good. Somewhere between, no sooner than two, it's a waste of time, and no later than three. Okay. The reason is because he's growing, his foot will keep growing, and then the cast is gonna get too small, see? Okay. So okay. that's kind of, we can't let it go for six weeks or something okay. like that. Okay, okay. Right. And then, you know, when we get him back again, we don't tend to charge yeah. you the same for, you know, rechecks yeah. and stuff like that, but you had the emergency visit and everything else. Yeah, okay, right. thank you. Thank you. Should. Thank you. Yeah. Night boots. Let's go home. It cost me a lot of money today. <laughs> Back home, I have now set up a little spot for this goat to be for the next 10 days until we got to bring him back to get checked up on his improvements. This is what I created for a little goat for the next 10 days. He said, don't put him in a big area. You literally want him to kind of just chillax. He'll be probably jumping on this cage, but you want to keep him pretty confined for that bone to correctly heal. This right here is the best thing I can come up with. I am filming on my iPhone, by the way, my camera died. Got a little fan, got its food, water, shavings, dry area in the garage, obviously. I'll leave this open during the day at night. The fan will keep him cool. Let's get Goat into his new uh, new temporary little surgery enclosure. Yeah. Nah. Nah. You are so cute. So he's got this little cone on his head. He's like, get me out of this truck. And then you got this little thing on his foot. He's got this whole cast, it's pink. They gave him a pink camo cast. Look at it, a little bag on the end of it. A little surgery goat. I know you want to go out and see your buddies. Put him in there like that. Close him up. Probably gonna eat right away. And you know how goats are hurting animals companion. They love to have other goats and other animals around them. I am going to Oh gosh, never mind. I can't close that yet. I gotta clean all this out. Ew. I'm going to actually throughout the next couple of days bring like brother and sister Oscar and you know Emmy over there. Just kind of hang out in the garage with boots. Let them walk around in the drier area. Just so you know. 
he's not sitting here alone every day for the next 10 days. So I have had Alexa going, how do I turn this off? I had Alexa going the entire time just to keep him company. Not sure if it makes any sort of difference, but he's been screaming less ever since I put it on. Take him for a little roam real quick. Stump leg, a little stump. Looks good though. He roamed around for a solid two hours today and uh, he hung out over there a lot of the time by the pigs. But now Boots is all locked up again for the night. So I'm gonna do that every once in a while throughout every single day, just so he's not locked in a cage 24 hours per day. If you guys went on to watch all the way to this point of the video, make sure you drop a like. Drop a like for me, hit the like button. Subscribe down below if you have not subscribed already. And guess what? I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> I just hit myself in the eye. Boots, a little cone head.